I see stiff competition with China. China has an overall goal, and I don't criticize them for the goal, but they have an overall goal to become the leading country in the world, the wealthiest country in the world, and the most powerful country in the world. That's not going to happen on my watch, because the United States is going to continue to grow and expand. We're now projecting it will. We have to have democracies working together. Before too long, I'm going to have — I'm going to invite an alliance of democracies to come here to discuss the future. And so we're going to make it clear that in order to deal with these things, we are going to um, hold China accountable to follow the rules, to follow the rules, whether it relates to the South China Sea or the North China Sea or the agreement made on Taiwan or a whole range of other things. Really good paying job. I made it clear that no American president — at least one did — but no American president ever backed down from speaking out of what's happening to the Uyghurs, what's happening in Hong Kong, what's happening in-country. In, in That's who we are. The moment a president walks away from that, as the last one did, is the moment we begin to lose our legitimacy around the world. I spent hours upon hours with him, alone with an interpreter, my interpreter and his, going into great detail. It's very, very straightforward. Doesn't have a Democratic with a small D bone in his body, but he's a smart, smart guy. He's one of the guys like Putin, who thinks that autocracy is the wave of the future, democracy can't function in an ever com — an ever complex world. When I was elected and he called to congratulate me, I think to the surprise of the China experts who were his people on the call as well as mine listening, we had a two-hour conversation for two hours. And we made several things clear to one another. I made it clear to him again, what I've told him in person on several occasions, that we're not looking for confrontation, although we know there will be steep, steep competition.